All right, so nitrates is always a problem, either in fresh water or salt water. Nitrates, they always tend to accumulate, so, but we need a group of bacteria that in anaerobic conditions, that means no oxygen, that's the only way they work is without oxygen. In this way, we create the conditions for them and we also have to feed them. If we feed them as they grow and they create biomass, they will uh, consume nitrates. So that's what this bad boy is going to be doing for me. made by Geo, they're smaller versions. This one is for this massive system right here that, uh, I don't know, I must have like almost 2,000 freshwater fish. Right here. This whole wall goes all the way down there. So this and this. So that's almost 2,000 gallons. It has a lot, a lot of freshwater fish. So this is how a nitrate reactor works. So we have, we need the food for the bacteria. This is sulfur, but I want to have the pH a little bit higher. So this will buffer, there's a crushed coral that will buffer the water as it comes out. So there's an in and an out. The in, I'm going to connect the pump. This came actually really well made. The pump will connect here. I'm going to clamp it. They use synchro pumps, the ones made by uh, Siche. These pumps, they last forever, really high quality, so I'm going to do the same. I don't want this thing to stop, so I'm going to store use these uh, new synchro nanos. They're tiny, tiny, but very strong. You can adjust the flow, five year warranty. So, very excited to store use uh, this bad boy. So this pump, what it does, it recirculates the water inside the reactor. That pump, this pump right here, will feed the, the reactor. It will be under pressure and this gate valve will adjust how much water will be coming out. Usually three drops per second when the nitrates are high and as the nitrates go down, we can go all the way to one drop per second. This is also another one to fine-tune the, the effluent, whatever comes out. Um, to check the nitrates, you want to get the water sample from this and check how much nitrates are coming out. And you also want to check the nitrates in your system to see how it is. And then if you need to drain, there's this valve right here to drain it. But that's pretty much it, so the water sucks from here. It then pushes from the bottom up, so it's like a fluidized uh, bed almost. It works in counter current. So first mistake, when it tumbles, it does tumble quite hard. That, that elbow right there, I just should have a strain or something for the media not to go inside. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take out some media so the, water, the media level is lower. So it tumbles without getting stuck into the pump and then all this gets jammed into the impeller. Okay, the beast is working. Let me show you. Very strong pump. So there's the fluid sand there. Oh, media bed, it's moving. Pretty strong movement. This pump is, CJ pump is pretty strong also.
This is the dripping line. So I adjust it here. You can close it a little bit more. Let's we'll see. Put a little bit more. There you are. All right, that's it for today. Nitrate reactor. Uh, very excited. Let's see how this uh, works. How well this will work, and I'll keep you guys posted. See you tomorrow. The reactor pump, the intake is right there. That's this, the little nano siege. And that's how I set it up. Put the suction cups there, connect the intake, that's it. There's a protection there, which will not get caught up.